hey guys welcome back to my channel it's kenki naturally and in today's video i'm gonna show you my first human hair wig how i take care of it how i style it and how i take care of my hair underneath it and secure it on a daily basis so if you're interested just keep on watching before we jump into this though i do want to take the time to thank my godmother for sponsoring this video she's the one who got me this hair wig and i want to thank her personally so thank you and let's just get into this now so real quick guys i'm gonna show you how i do one section i moisturize my hair first of all with aloe vera juice it's pure aloe vera juice that i get from the store then i do put some leave-in conditioner not a lot i put some leave-in conditioner then i use my butter my hair butter to moisturize and soften my hair then i use my ayurvedic hair growth oil to keep my hair strong when it's in the protective style then i use my diamond brush to heavily distribute the product all over my hair so i already did the the other section as you guys can see and i'm gonna show you i do con rolls also and i try to do as um many as possible so it can be flat but it doesn't really matter the way you do the con rolls because you're not gonna show it anyway so what matters is how you secure the bottom and i'm gonna show you how i secure the bottom of my hair and you guys probably know how to do this already so i'm gonna show you real quick the con rolls that i'm doing and this next section is how you start because this is really important in securing your hair at the bottom so it doesn't do a bumpy thing on underneath the wig when you put it on so you take the other one that you did already and you attach it to the second one and you're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing the cone rolls. And once I'm done doing the cone rolls, I'm just going to keep attaching them to each other um, to make um, to make it easier for me when I'm putting the wig on so there's no bumpy thing. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So you guys don't mind me dancing or making some weird faces because I'm also watching my daughter while I'm doing this video. So yeah. Now I'm doing the back and I'm going to moisturize it the same way I did with the front because it's really important to moisturize your hair otherwise they're going to just break you're going to have a lot of hair breakage or hair loss or whatever's going on is going to get worse so you still going to keep your hair you still want to keep your hair moisturized so I'm going to continue doing con rolls on my hair for another couple of minutes then we'll jump into the actual hair wig So once I'm done braiding my hair, I'm going to secure both sides with um, hair pins. That's all you need to secure it, two hair pins. Then I'm going to move on to the actual hair wig. So I'm going to actually put my hair wig on. I had to actually stop the video the last time I was doing it. So this is another day. I had to redo everything, you know, because of mother duties. Sometimes you have to just stop doing some stuff. So I'm going to put my hair wig on. It actually has to be exactly where you section your hair in the front. It has to be similar to the hair wig. So now I'm going to use my brush to kind of fix it the thing to detangle my hair wig then i'm gonna style my hair so um you need some hair pins to actually section this too because you don't want it to get messy as you um using your tools on your hair wig So 
so this is the part where you start um curling the hair wig and because it's a human hair wig that's why what makes it amazing whatever shape you want it to have whatever tool you use however you want it you can get it that way and i was very happy to get that hair wig and finally make that hair tutorial you guys don't know I, i've been waiting for a year an entire year to make this and you know so i'm very happy to be finally doing it and i um appreciate um the the person who did it for me the person who got me in, in contact with it so it's a personalized hair wig but there's also all kind of hair wig that you can find if i find anything that's related to it custom or not the human hair wigs are best because they can get the shape that you want so you may want to switch to that if you haven't yet so yes every time i'm doing my hair every time i'm i'm, I'm putting the tool in to to get the curls in i count nine seconds so it can stay as much as possible but not too much so, and this hair wig doesn't really need all a lot of heat so we can get the shade that you want it to be. So yeah, it's getting really hot for me right now and you know, I'm just gonna keep doing that until I'm done. Let's keep on going. Now that I'm done styling my hair, I'm gonna use my Shining Gem Gel for my edges. I just put a little bit, I'm not that um, crazy about slaying and stuff like that. It's nice, but I have edges problem and I don't want my edges to get worse. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of things around my edges and make it still look cute. And this thing is, this gel is really amazing. I'm doing that and I can style my hair however I want with it. So you guys can just, um, style your hair and do this and everything will be listed down below I'm gonna write down all the product that I used in the description box so you guys can check it out if you would like to get them and yes this is really um, nice it's pretty nice I just like it and every time I'm in the rush and every time I know I'm gonna have a busy week I just use my hair wig I know I breathe my hair um, ahead of time probably on a Saturday after a wash day and then I just keep on going in thank you so much guys for watching it's been nice chatting with you today and I just wanted to switch things up a little bit and I'm very happy that I have this human hair wig 